This is uh, a JVC VCR that was given to me to try and get going for a Christmas gift. And uh, there's some old Disney VHS that uh, somebody wanted to play for a kid or something. Something along those lines. Anyway, this one doesn't work. So I'll show you what happens. You plug it in. It turns on. It makes a clunk. Makes some noises. Maybe that's an error code. And then it goes away. That's it. It's off. So let's open this, open this thing up and see what's inside. And see if we can't fix it. Okay. So I've got the case off. And uh, I'm just going to plug it in here now. And you can see that something happens. Then it stops. And it tries again. Spins some stuff. And then just shuts off. It gives up. So if I take a tape <clears throat> and try and put that tape in now, it's not going to do anything because the power's off. But if I turn the power on when the tape's in, it ejects it and then it pulls it all the way in and it loads the tape and if I hit play, it plays. So if I eject it, ejects the tape and then it pulls it back in again i'm not sure why i can't see anything wrong in the transport or any of the load mechanisms or anything like that so what i think it's doing is i think that it i think maybe there's a, a sensor in there that thinks that this tape is always there because i eject it i snag it real quick i got it However, it's still trying to load the tape that I'm holding in my hand right now. And what I'm thinking is that this here appears... Now, there's one on this side and one on this side. So maybe it's not even what I think it is. But this one looks different. This appears to be like an IR sensor, like an infrared sensor or something. You know what I mean? And so when you put a tape in, this is currently broken or open it can see through i guess but it can't see to the other side so i i really don't know what it's looking at <clears throat> but if i take the tape and unplug it first so i don't want it to try and load i slide the tape in you can see that this load mechanism appears to close this to tell it there's a tape coming in and then it'll go open again once the tape has been loaded and it comes in and goes down which is okay so let's plug it in and let this load I'll just set it in the load so it's ready to go there okay so I plug it in, it'll just load that up as it should. And you can see that it will eject and then load. And then, so I don't, yeah, I don't know how that works. I don't know how this works. I've checked this and there's voltage on that, like five volts or something like that, or three volts or something. But it goes in here like that and I don't, I don't know. Like there's nothing wrong with this VCR other than, other than that. Other than hitting eject and I've tried lubricating the gears and stuff and it appears to be a, it's not a mechanical, um, did that work? Nah, see it's all bound up and does it again. Yeah, so I think it just always thinks there's a tape in it. I don't know. Like if I press this over and turn it on. Whole thing comes in then it does stuff see it thinks it's tape in there now of course but i don't know what would tell it it's there's no tape in there it's going to eject it and then it tries again and that's the whole cycle it just thinks the tape in it i mean it works it works it plays fine, the audio works and everything, but I can't figure out what tells it the tape is in there. 
I don't know. That's it. I don't know how to fix it. It bugs me that I don't, but, you know, I mean, it's a VCR. Who, who cares? All right, so it's definitely not fixed, but I have some instructions on how they can use it if they need to. So uh, with the VCR unplugged, you take a tape and you put it in. Then you plug the VCR in and it will do like an eject and a pull in and then the tape's in. And you can hit play. And it works. I don't get it. I mean, it's fine. It, it works that way. Uh, <laughs> so if you try to eject it, though, so you're done watching your old 90s uh, TV re recordings, and you go to eject it, And there it is, and it's gone again. It is what it does. It it doesn't it doesn't let you take the tape out. So, I mean, you can play it again. Like everything works. Fast forward works. Rewind works. I mean, I even have the remote for it. Like there. There's the glorious remote in all of its glorious glory dusty. And it stops. And you can play. I assume it records, but I have nothing to record from it. Fast forward. There's pause work. Cool. Yeah. Pause works. This is a 30 year old recording from 31 year old recording from television, likely recorded on EP. It doesn't show me there. I wonder if display. Yeah, EP. So lowest quality, I think. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I wish I could have got it actually functioning properly, but I, I don't know how they work. I don't know what tells this thing to. Um, that there's a tape in it and I don't know how to tell it there's not a tape in it you take the tape out it tries to it does the same thing when you turn it on so if you snag it real quick it's all right but then it does the thing again and it shuts off if you unplug it and you take that same tape and you stick it in there and you plug it back in There it goes. Takes your tape. No problem. I'll play this. Sure will. Need some volume. Hmm. Anyway, 